willkommen zum Hexen-Channel. Unser erster Talk ist von Andrea aus Italien. Sie ist Teil der Eclectic, vom Eclectic Tech Carnival und von äh, dem italienischen Tech Meeting Org. Und sie spricht über Wireless Mesh Networks. Dieser Talk wurde auch über dieses Netzwerk aufgezeichnet, während sie in dem Mesh Netzwerk war, ohne Latenzen und andere Verbindungsprobleme. Während des Talks könnt ihr eure Fragen auf Twitter und Mastodon ähm, bei den Hexen st äh, stellen. Danach dem Talk gibt es auch ein Q&A in unserem Big Blue Button äh, Raum ADA, aber ihr bekommt nach dem Talk auch nochmal die Details dazu. Da der folgende Talk auf Englisch ist, auch nochmal etwas für unsere englischen ähm, Zuhörerinnen. Uh, welcome to the Hexen Channel. This is our first talk with our speaker Andrea from Italy. She's part of the Eclectic Tech Carnival and also part of the Italian Hack Meeting. Um, she will speak about wireless mesh networks. And this talk was actually pre-recorded while she was on that network without any trouble. So uh, look forward to that. And after the talk, there will be a, um, a Q&A session in our um, big blue button room Ada, but you will get more details after the talk. Now have fun. Hi, I'm uh, Andrea Zappa uh, from uh, Bologna, from Italy. I'm here to speak uh, to you about uh, a wireless uh, community mesh network in uh, Appennino Bolognese, so in, uh, in the countryside, in the mountains, near Bologna. Uh, quickly, who I am. Um, I'm a, a founder of the network. Um, I'm a self taught uh, uh, information technologies and uh, developers. And uh, um, I studied uh, Italian literature. Um, I was yet involved in uh, free software, already involved in free software and the uh, actors uh, community. And uh, when I moved to countryside, I meet the, the problem of the digital divide and uh, I use my arts tech arts tech arts to to reach a connection and so uh, the way that I found was a wireless uh, connection with our first uh, uh, the, um, link of uh, uh, six uh, kilometers and uh, After that uh, happens uh, a lot of uh, <laughs> a lot of stuff, and uh, this um, this network uh, started to to grow by the the uh, by the voluntary and the agreement of the other human that uh, and the neighborhoods. Um, so um, and so what we are doing? So we are doing uh, a wireless a wireless. Uh, mesh network in countryside uh, in uh, on uh, three valleys. Uh, we use antennas, routers, and uh, softwares. And uh, the software that uh, we use is uh, LibreMesh that uh, is based up on OpenWRT. And so is the operating system that runs uh, the antennas and the routers. And uh, the, the root, um, yeah. Also, the, our antennas are a router, and um, it's a modular uh, framework. Um, it's really useful to know it, to, to us because it uh, gives us a complete uh, set of configuration for uh, for a mesh network. So, help helped us to have a, a ready to uh, choose uh, the protocols that we use and uh, have a really plug and run a mesh network. Um, with, with our mesh network, our network where uh, participants, the nodes are able to route the traffic from other participants without a, a hierarchy. Uh, so there are not the central points and uh, you can set your topology. Uh, what, what, which are the objectives of Libre Mesh? Uh, our uh, scalability, uh, the possibility of uh, divide the networks, but also the possibility of uh, in the layer two of this ISO OSI stack, uh, have um, 
uh, jo defined uh, certain areas and also have a roaming inside of that area. Uh, you can compile in a modularity way, so you can choose your uh, modules uh, in the, in the, when you compile the firmware. And, uh, and uh, is, um, is, uh, can have, uh, you can use in a lot of uh, ways. So Vibramesh uh, give a possibility of, um, of uh, cover a lot of uh, scenarios. Uh, so you can have a single uh, firmware image for all the network uh, that you want to deploy, but also have uh, some uh, customization. Uh, for example, one of the last uh, feature uh, uh, is uh, the deploy configuration based on uh, Mac address. So, so you can configure, configure uh, the single antenna, uh, the single router, the single node. Um, you can see, have a you can find that uh, information on uh, LibreMesh.org. Uh, who I am? I'm uh, a starter of a small network in the mountains, uh, on a valley, on three valleys. Um, and, but uh, um, I just, I not started alone. I uh, take the experiences and the knowledge and the uh, uh, friendship. <laughs> from uh, Linux.org, that is an older uh, community of uh, people that builds a uh, mesh network in Italy. And it started uh, really early, uh, just the time of the Picopier Agreement, when, uh, released, uh, when it was released the Picopier Agreement in the 2004, I think so, yeah, early 2000. Our mesh network, you can find uh, specific information from us in uh, uh, this uh, this uh, website antennine.noblogs.org. Uh, we started in 2017. Uh, we are arrived now to be uh, 15 nodes, and uh, the hardware uh, which uh, is uh, formatted the network is our people and uh, routers. Yes, so we have uh, 50 people inside of the network. And that use that if this network is the principal uh, uh, connection with the the world, um, and uh, free technicians that are people also, and uh, hardware's uh, in the normal way of things uh, are uh, most TP-Link, Ubiquiti, um, wannabe Libre router, and uh, second hands uh, second hands routers and antennas. That uh, this is really. Wow, because we received a donation of 19 antennas due to the change of the protocols. So if you think so, it is possible to build a second-hand uh, uh, wireless uh, network, yes, you have to ask to other ISP or other mesh network uh, or the other network that uh, when they change, uh, when the world change the protocols, uh, happens that uh, you can reach uh, a lot of, um, of hardware of the old protocols. So we are using uh, 802.11n uh, uh, protocols and not the new AC. It's okay. It's okay for your, for your network. And, and as I said, we use LibreMesh. Um, for uh, the configuration for, and, and as uh, for the, the routing protocols, that uh, so we use uh, Dartman uh, EDV and uh, Bubble D in the layer three. In the layer two. <laughs> I'll show you our uh, network really on the map. You can see in the corner on top uh, right uh, Bologna, and uh, we are um, so a big city. Uh, of the oldest uh, university, and um, and uh, so you can uh, see in this map uh, uh, our nodes. So this, this map is self-hosted, and um, here you can see the expansion of the network uh, from people that ask to enter, people that not already know that they want to enter, but are friend of friends and live in the right uh, points probably. Uh, because you have to, when you start to deploy a net, uh, 
Work a wireless network in the mountains. Uh, where are the mountains and the rivers uh, make the difference? <laughs> where are where are the houses of uh, of the people that participate uh, make the difference? And <clears throat> I show you some some of our, of our roof and uh, some of uh, that uh, it's uh, it's uh, incredible and it's. Uh, Directly clear when you mount, you mount, you put on a, a new antenna, is the, the dependencies of one with the others. And so the strength and the dependencies of a human network and wireless network, uh, and it's something of really interesting. Um, yeah. Um, because you are creating something that is a, a common good. And we have some services inside. It was not the first, the principal, the first uh, target, the first aim. Uh, I have to say, in the letters, etc. The first, uh, uh, the principal needs was uh, have internet for a lot, uh, have internet connection for a lot of the houses. Uh, and people, but um, yeah, we started to host also internet service, but in a quite in a second moment because you take time to explain to the people the difference of uh, of internal network and external network and the net a network inside of the network. So sometimes it's different keep the difference between the internet and your uh, LAN, your local network. and so. Um, we started to use our uh, next cloud, uh, cloud, and it's cloud installation internal to share video, audio, and uh, documentation. And uh, we had a uh, transmission uh, torrent, uh, torrent client. Um, we use also VPN together, and uh, we have a um, uh, Prometheus, so a monitoring from the antenna uh, that uh, also is a uh, um, a Libre mesh uh, permit you to to add uh, in the packets, and uh, we are uh, we started to host a place for the firmwares because you need so that the people uh, can uh, reach their firmwares for uh, for flash uh, the antennas with the new config not not configuration but with the updates uh, because something of the uh, that's important is not uh, build the network but uh, maintain the network is in the difficult parts uh, during the time so people can uh, download and update the user antenna who are in the process of learn so the first point is be accessible these um with the files the software is that we are using is h5ai that uh, is a um, which PHP software to show to show files uh, hosted somewhere. Uh, another mm, the, this is the last entry of our uh, uh, local uh, uh, services is a uh, Grafana uh, that keep the information from uh, Prometheus. Grafana is a software for make graph, and Prometheus is a software to monitoring the antenna. So antennas give us uh, data, and we and, and with uh, Grafana we show the data. It's uh, really, it's uh, to say that uh, normally are people, that normally you have not alert from uh, Prometheus, but more from the people. The people are quicker uh, to reach you than uh, the, the technologies. <laughs> so, um, uh, when we started to, to, to deploy these uh, uh, technologies. We uh, started with an idea of uh, feminist technologies that the quite that the quite we self write written. So it's quite self written. So it's a, it's a, a interpretation of uh, feminist technologies and um, technology for for a group that is shared also with other people that I will speak uh, after. Uh, technologies, um, we find really true this phrase that technology is a proportion of skills and dependencies. So you have to understand that when you go faster, it's because you are 
adding uh, dependencies probably. Um, so um, we find uh, important these points. Do not uh, uh, do not say alone, but also not to do things alone. Uh, it's important to have a testing environment because it gives the possibility to the people that are learning to experiment and the people that are uh, tacky to experiment, not uh, in the in, in the uh, main network uh, and the, also make. Uh, Text uh, test in uh, uh, in a test environment and not in production. And it's really important to document everything and make accessible the information. And also to explain the choice of the algorithm. Uh, give yourself uh, the time to study. So go slow and uh, give your to yourself, but also to the others, and uh, not to be much uh, specialized. So. Mm, because also for the uh, for the mesh network needs not only the specialized of uh, of uh, of software, but you need also about uh, finances and uh, humans agreements agreement. Uh, we have um, I found other uh, um, other collectives, periphericas, kefir, and the Tetas that are from the South America. And uh, I found other um, ideas of uh, other um, red uh, uh, network, uh, uh, autonomous uh, networks, and uh, uh, feminist uh, ideas of uh, who runs it. So I like uh, to quote in these uh, in my works in these talks. And uh, I find it really, nice, really nice that they, yeah, the autonomy in the network give you the some, the freedom of the choose. And uh, the possibility to spread the culture and the local connection. And they found really interesting uh, in the deploy of a, of a, um, feminist technologies the intimacy and the consensus, give respect to intimacy, privacy, and consensus. Um, and so to the process of take decision and not only to the um, aim of, of what are you doing. Uh, memory and the narration, that it's really important that uh, you recognize that you come from a, a culture and uh, you, uh, <clears throat> you find a, a narration of your culture, but also uh, live in diversity, so can answer uh, other narration. Uh, the interconnection seeds, because when you run Sanet, you understand that there are also a lot of projects, uh, other projects that develop inside of the net. And so it's important um, we find a, find a, a cycle <coughs> of uh, um, interaction, uh, so you can uh, grow together uh, the projects uh, inside of the networks that are connected, but uh, and not, not start from uh, uh, technologies, probably, but start from other uh, needs. Uh, and uh, the technology uh, progress project that is the wireless uh, network, but it could be also others. And you need uh, to take care of that interaction. And uh, safe management uh, that gives you autonomy, and but also give uh, you the responsibility of, uh, of what is running. A network over another network, yes, we are um, uh, we are lucky. I think that uh, uh, the, um, we are lucky because we are living in some valleys with a lot of people that work a lot over their relationship. Uh, I found I think so that um, parts of our success is uh, staying near uh, Campi Aperti, that is a group of uh, that uh, predicts uh, food autonomy, so are most farmers, um, herboristic people, and yeah, these contadini, and uh, um, they practice agroecology, consensus method, um, shared warranty about uh, organic uh, foods, and uh, they uh, practice a sense of limit and mutualism. So the idea that they you uh, you don't need to be, you don't want the right to be a big, big, big organization. Um, but you have a sense of being. And, uh, and solidarity with the others. Um, really quick brief uh, about the consensus method. You can see 
to access about the knowledge and the relationship. We take care to not stay in the unanimity, means uh, everything is uh, agreement, is in agree, because uh, everything looks the same, because you come from all the same, from the same, uh, uh, the same lives. So you, you, you have the same vision and you stay, you have the, the idea that uh, the society and the world will uh, uh, de develop uh, in uh, the same way. No, we try to stay in the plan of consensus. So it means that uh, uh, we are, sometimes we are not all uh, together. And then the, but the important part is that uh, um, we are not all agree. But uh, the important part is that uh, nobody is uh, really totally disagree. So it's important to not ask we are all agree when uh, you are uh, speaking about some topics. But it's better to ask uh, someone have uh, more doubts on, on these topics for, if, uh, and um, take your time for, uh, for speak. Um, we have um, an understand the view of the other. Um, so to arrive at a conclusion on our topics, we try to use uh, this method that uh, is uh, asked to the people to give uh, an active consent. That means I will do that. Uh, <clears throat> that the decision are constant that end up them. So say, okay, uh, it's okay for me. I'm not completely free. I will not have the time to to do, but uh, it's okay for me that if we go uh, in that direction. Or uh, the third part that uh, is not uh, the more critical. It's only a part that uh, um, that uh, um, <clears throat> focus on uh, what they can do better. And these are not particularly decent, so it means that uh, you find a moral problem in the other people about to do something, uh, so give you the possibility to know better the others and uh, the interaction with the other culture, probably, or other ideas, but uh, uh, give you the possibility to do a mediation and find another, another agreement. But yeah, the first is not the talk. And uh, we we are uh, we develop shared agreements. We try to use the same of uh, complementarity. that are reports, timekeeper, um, right to listen to and to listen, and uh, everyone talks for herself. No meta discussion, no discussion that are not uh, yours. And um, and so I think that uh, we are I, we are. Uh, Lucky that uh, a lot of people uh, that are that live in the valleys where we have the national come from uh, this uh, culture of uh, of uh, farmers and, and neo rurals because uh, they use uh, the counterparty use uh, these kind of uh, methods to decide and uh, so arrive people inside our uh, network but that is also a meeting. Uh, and uh, with um, a culture on who runs meeting. And um, to run so well uh, these, um, these uh, methods, you need to not, to go, to not, not to go too much uh, fast. And uh, you need the people that take care of the process. Uh, so you need time. You need to take lessons. Uh, consensus method is something that uh, you have to learn. It's not uh, in natural. You have not. It's not. Uh, it's not in the culture that we in the pop culture in the moment. And so you, it's important self thought and uh, take lessons from the groups that do. And also sometimes ask for, for external helps during the for facilitation or mediation. Our mesh network community. Uh, we have a. The structure is really thin because uh, it's quite informal. Um, we are meeting one time here, and uh, we have different responsibilities about uh, keep the money of the uh, internet uh, contract and uh, um, technician and uh, the technicians people that do fixing. The, but also this uh, shared knowledge with uh, with the other, and there are some fix that are distributed distributed. From, uh, from the owner of the antennas so for the nodes. Um, free software and 
free people. Yeah, um, this point is about uh, that uh, there are some problematics in the in what uh, in how we are doing because uh, we are um, in, no, there are problematics, but also because because there are effort to arrive to be to use free software and be free people. Uh, but uh, we have we have to understand that our limits limits of time and uh, um, limits also of a problem of informed consensus. That means uh, we live in a specialized society and uh, it's really difficult uh, shared to shared uh, for me, okay, to other peoples or for me and others, but shared the technical knowledge and the technical decision that we take, and so sometimes. Uh, um, and the, also the decision of the other side is more on trust than uh, on the, the information. Uh, you have a cultural responsibility of what kind of dialogues and the contents you want to spread on your network and what you don't want. And so, <clears throat> and it's why I mean, and it's a responsibility where we are uh, agree about uh, uh, about uh, we are on uh, the agreement to be uh, anti-fascist and uh, anti-racist, anti-sexism, and so there are so so agreement, and uh, but also so you need to do a um, mediation, moderation, take the responsibility of what the culture you want to spread and share the. And uh, shared management means uh, uh, that uh, uh, you need to be that every point where you are not clear on uh, who will manage something uh, means that uh, will um, will uh, uh, create points of power uh, because someone had to take that decision and um, and so also points critical for the agreement of the other and. Um, Mm. Yeah, yes. So you have to run all these parts of the agreement. So <clears throat> one part is a shared power. It's difficult so because you are, um, you have, for example, you have skilled people in uh, in uh, consensus methods, as I said. Uh, but you have also to understand that you are using that. Um, in, a, in, a, in quite a difficult environment, so that means uh, managed with uh, technologies. And the technologies, for definition, means uh, power of uh, parts. So you need, uh, it's uh, one step is uh, uh, use uh, free software, but uh, it's not only the, it's not enough, it's not only that you need to be, you, you will, for the people that are tacky inside of the group, you will need to have a really a big uh, caution, consciousness uh, that uh, you have more power of the other. And um, not that you want, but uh, you have, so you have to wait to the other, ask before to change something. And uh, ask to do manutention. Ask uh, if you can uh, turn off uh, the network for for uh, an afternoon or not. And so, because if you not do, the other people feel that you are using power on them, and you don't want. Um, okay. So when you set um, a network, a mesh network, what uh, you have to do? But most in, in a lot of the project, you have to do the maintaining of the project, and you can optimize the project, and sometimes you need to innovate the project. Uh, that means uh, that uh, you have uh, technical depths in some parts, and it's important um, because maybe you have a patch in a place, patch in another place, uh, and some parts uh, are, are working only because you are doing a big effort, and so sometimes you can optimize, optimize, optimize away, but sometimes you need uh, to redesign. And so this point of the redesign are really useful to 
uh, explain better and uh, to the other people what are doing, what we are doing. I introduce this point that uh, is a point of uh, uh, that is technical, but most uh, is a. Uh, uh, mm, is uh, uh, connected with um, um, in, uh, managing problem, but uh, both. So uh, became an ISP, an uh, ISP, an internet service provider, uh, because you are managing, uh, so you are 50 people in uh, three valleys. And uh, you are running a mesh network uh, from for uh, five years, and you are also paying uh, some uh, some um, contracts with uh, with ISP to have uh, the internet connection, and you have also people that manage the financial parts to reach the the money every now and then. And so you you start to think, uh, okay, but we are good to to build the network, uh, why you we not um, we not uh, uh, keep uh, keep off uh, take off our intermediary and uh, we became uh, our ISP. And uh, Italy is, is quite difficult because uh, um, you need to to uh, you need uh, to have a subscription in an internet exchange. Uh, also to uh, Archcom, that is uh, Archcom, Archcom, that is the uh, manage Italian management of the infrastructure, of the state, uh, states, and um, and uh, so you need also to become formal to have a to have a, a name of a, to become a association or something. So uh, you need you need to uh, to do a huge step uh, about uh, thinking on uh, on uh, how you on the responsibility that you shared with the other with the other peoples uh, um, and how much time you want to give to the project also uh, or if as uh, as people that manage uh, uh, their uh, how, how infrastructure, you can uh, decide also to um, take uh, to pay to um, pay other technical people if you have not enough. So think uh, um, your um, globally your uh, network, and also if the technical people that are now the technicians, for for example, me, I don't want to do this for work. Uh, but uh, I want to give the freedom of the other people that are in the network to decide if uh, uh, if they want uh, someone other that uh, do the technician of the network as work because they need uh, um, to maintain uh, running and help the, the network. So it's something of possible to give the documentation and other people uh, fix uh, yeah, you can um, you can uh, uh, plan um, a lot of different uh, um, structure of your organization. So uh, it was really important that we st when we started this uh, uh, conversation as group of the of the mesh network um, was not only a tech uh, problem or what because of the people are oh, what is a ISP, an internet service provider. Yeah, and, uh, but uh, not to stay in a technical uh, discussion, but uh, need to stay in a human discussion because uh, it's a choose that all together take and will remain, will stay for 10 years maybe. So uh, it's not something that can, the, the, that, uh, can take only the technicians, technicians and uh, it's not... Uh, Mm. And so the people need so to be well informed. Uh, I won't finish this talk. I think so most with a list of issues that I found or open uh, open problems. Um, so um, 
the open problem is a uh, uh, that the practice of design uh, together because uh, I say that we live in a really specialized specialized society and uh, uh, so people normally try to delegate to the technicians and I think it's not uh, something of possible in these uh, topics of your connection and um, and so learn the together what are you doing and how to design together is something that uh, take time and take time and uh, also decide to to understand what is uh, doing what is running this take time and uh, our testing infrastructure is something that it's really really important but uh, it's not uh, so easy to reach uh, in speaking uh, not a software infrastructure but a uh, hardware testing infrastructure um, in wireless uh, mesh, in the wireless network, uh, you need to quite build a school place that is access accessible to the others. Uh, finance, um, it's not, a, it's difficult that, uh, you, um, uh, you find uh, more money. It's uh, difficult to, stay at the point of the commercial uh, proposals of other ISP and other network. And so financial is an um, uh, important point that uh, the community needs uh, to manage. And for the moment, we found uh, also only the solution of extra characteristics uh, works. That means uh, um, ask uh, for grant. But uh, uh, we could think so also for characteristic works. That means, uh, for example, give uh, service outside of our, our network, uh, but to other people, for example, yeah, to go to fix a network of other people, uh, pay it, but uh, this uh, bring money for your, uh, for your common good, for your infra infrastructure. Uh, understand uh, how manage a common goal good because uh, for example our network is a mix is a, every node is a property every people as a, every people that join by uh, every person that join by her antenna <coughs> and routers or find or second hands uh, so we are um, we understand we know that we have a, a common god good but divided in uh, in it's, it's more a divided property <laughs> but also common good because uh, the connection to the internet connection is is divided so the infrastructure is a divided property and the connection is common and it's, it's why I, I wrote understand because you need you need to give to gift a mental model to the other to better understand what are you doing with uh, wireless community network wireless community network. and um, policy of service and contents um, it's important to speak. And uh, understand the policy of the contents that you run in your network, um, because um, you are running a, a, a strong, um, a strong technologies. Strong. Um, you are you are the responsibility of your contents and the culture that inside of your network. But also, you are uh, building a resilient network that, uh, in a free software, can uh, be used for uh, everyone, for every scope, objective, and uh, um, and uh, uh, we are. Uh, but we are not a politic. Uh, we are a, a we are a politic group. <laughs> political. We are a political group. That means uh, that uh, we find together in the value of uh, anti-fascism anti and uh, um, 
and um, you are you need to develop uh, this uh, culture and so you you need to create the content for you for your um, for your uh, uh, network but also uh, discuss about the contents that are on the, all inside of your network because the, for example you have a cloud and uh, you share the, a lot of videos which videos are from which uh, con contents uh, how many um, are uh, um, are feminist for example or not uh, with patriarchy ideas uh, uh, how many of that videos can uh, uh, can uh, uh, um, <laughs> uh, are you are agreeing with that videos or that stuff? So uh, it's important to uh, speak about uh, inside of the network about this, and um, and I want to finish <clears throat> with um, another quote that I, I find really interesting: the publication in the um, from uh, Mozilla of the last year. Um, that is uh, one of the publications uh, of uh, Emmy Berensi uh, about uh, um, uh, Web of Eight, uh, so the use of uh, P2P instant messaging. Um, I'm uh, quite interested in that topic because uh, P2P instant messaging is uh, the best technologies that you can run. So, on a mesh network, but you, has, you have also to understand that uh, that kind of technologies um, is uh, really resilient, but and also is uh, uh, hidden. What uh, you say inside of the networks became became hidden to the people, uh, our person to person um, conversation, and um, mm, and. Uh, uh, it's important that uh, you develop uh, a criti no, uh, critical thinking of your of your val value inside the, of the network. Uh, because uh, if uh, we will have uh, political problems inside, um, you can't uh, uh, resolve. Uh, you can fix uh, with uh, something of technical. This is uh, clear. And so uh, you have to resolve a problem, social problem, with uh, social uh, uh, agreement. And so uh, I, at the moment, I find more uh, uh, faster the technologies than the human agreement. And so is why also our mesh network grows slow. <laughs> uh, but. Uh, thinking and hoping that uh, can be sustainable. I finish. I thanks uh, to you for listening and uh, I will be available for uh, question as well. Okay. Bye. This was very interesting. Vielen Dank for the talk. Jetzt folgt noch ein, eine Q&A Session im Bitcoin Button bei den Hexen. Den Link seht ihr unten eingeblendet. events.hexen.org/asam-ada-html. Thank you for the talk. Now there will be a Q&A session with Andrea um, in the Big Blue Button room of uh, the Hexen. You see the link below me. There's also a QR code you can follow to uh, go directly to the link. And I will see you there.